guys check out the next level games for all your tcg needs link is down below in the description of the video thanks guys what's up everybody welcome back to team fish knuckles youtube channel my name is josh squeaky marking and today is thursday so monday and tuesday we covered two older like expanded decks that people really haven't been seeing. That was the size of Garbodor, and the other one was a Primal Groudon deck. Now today we are covering, we're today and tomorrow we're gonna cover two of the newer decks that you could see in expanded. And today is gonna be a Quasi DX, but the question is, how does it do against the top three? So top three once again is um, Archie Stoys. One of them is going to be Zark, and the other one is going to be Trevenant. So against Archie Stories, it comes down to like who is faster. Like you're both trading knockouts pretty easily and stuff like that. Um, they do have like Articuno and stuff like that. Um, maybe you'll end up squeaking this out. It's like a trade back and forth kind of game, right? Like can you streamline better than they can streamline? You're gonna start one shot them probably a little bit quicker. Um, you can punish them by Marsh out of turn one, which is very nice. Uh, against Zark, they are gonna struggle to one shot you because this deck is gonna be Subtle Widow in Parallel City. Now against Trevenant. Trevenant is probably going to beat you unless you can get a turn one, like a turn one quick setup. Now, they do start discarding energies. You still have the Latios Prism Star to Dreamy Mist attach a bunch of energies to your Dragon Pokemon. So that could help you out. So the problem is, is when they start to stack the damage and use that Tapu Lele and they're going to cross with GX you or something like that, that is when you're going to start being in trouble. Um, so during, during the top, top three, we see Trevenant is probably going to be able to take this deck down, but it should be able to beat the other two decks. I'm just excited because this deck is so fast. We saw it got, uh, technically got second place at Worlds now since uh, second place guy got banned or DQ'd, whatever. Um, so it technically got second place. So let's go over the deck. Let's see what it is. We know what Arquaza does, but we're going to have some fun in Expanded. So like I said, Latios Prison Star, Dreamy Mist, 30 attach a basic injury from your Discord to your, each of your basic Dragon, bench, po bench Dragon Pokemon. Uh, Rayquaza GX is our main guy, though. 180 HP, has the ability Stormy Winds. So when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, during your turn, you may discard the top three cards of your deck. If you do, attach a basic energy card from your Discord pile to this Pokemon. So we're going to power up our Rayquaza GX very quickly that way. We're going to do that, attach, and then we can, like, Max Elixir and start Dragon Breaking out of nowhere. It has Tempest GX, is a really good GX stack. Discard your hand and draw 10 cards. Get more energies in the discard pile, of course, to power up that Jeremy Mist attack. Uh, Soto Widow is good against Zorak deck. It's good in general, just to limit your opponent down to four if need be, uh, but definitely for the Zorak decks. And we have one Zara Aura in here. It's got the ability Thunderclap Zone, which is why we're playing this card. Each Pokemon that has a lightning energy attached to it has no retreat cost. It's really cool. Plaza Fist can be attacked. You can use it to attack with this deck um, because we do play a choice spins in this list where some people don't. Uh, so Plaza Fist can do 190 and take knockouts. Uh, we really don't worry about full voltage. You can use it, but we rather just use the Dreamy Mist instead. Two more shadow, which I said is really good for the early disruption. Um, you can disrupt like Zorak decks. You can disrupt the... Uh, Archie Stories decks, you can like let loose into four cards and you're in a good situation. And the two top of Lily for uh, consistency. So 11 Pokemon in the deck. No set of Pokemon like the other. Uh, well, I guess Garbodor is kind of a set of deck, but you really need the Garbodor, right? To kind of set up there. So one Compressor to discard three cards in your discard pile. Of course, to reuse a Via Seeker for the majority of the part. Four V or C four Max Luxor to look at your cards, uh, look at your energies, attach to your basic bench Pokemon. Four Mysterious Treasure because we're playing four Rayquaza, uh, Latios, we're playing Marshadow, Tapu Lele, of course. Uh, two Stretcher, which is nice, especially when you're toppling win or you're strumming wins to discard some cards top of your deck. You could discard Pokemon, so Stretcher comes a clutch. Now, I'm actually playing Scramble Switch. Uh, this is the questionable A spec. Uh, some people, a lot of people playing Computer Search, but Scramble Switch seems so cool. And Rayquaza is almost knocked out. You can Scramble Switch like to a Zero Aura, and you get Plaza and Fizz and save your energy or something like that, which is really nice. Uh, you can switch to a new Rayquaza if you want to. Um, you could play like, um, like Scramble Switch AZ or something, which we don't have AZ in this list, uh, or Ace Roll in this list. Ace Roll is like 100% better than AZ. Um, so you could include an Ace Roll in here to kind of go with a combo. Uh, four Ultra Ball, four VA Seeker, of course. We're playing eight, um, Search Cards, which is really nice. Uh, four VA Seeker, of course, to reuse our Splitter Cards. And we're playing two, uh, Parallel Cities. 
Um, I'm, I'm debating if this is like questionable or not. Um, I still like to limit my opponent down to three if need be, which is really nice. You kind of just like disrupt your opponent, especially against like Zork. Um, they, yeah, they can counter your set of Wudo with like muck and stuff, and that's when like Parallel City comes in really clutch. Because if they muck you, um, then you can Parallel City them, and then they can't use eggs anymore. So that's a really cool thing you can do against that. Um, also, just like being able to counter Trevenant as someone with Parallel City is really nice. Uh, two Colors, Core Shuffle, draw a bunch of bitch Pokemon. Three Guzma, which three might seem high, but we're trying to take knockouts here. I uh, think this is there, or a lot of people do have free retreat, so I think three is nice. We could cut it down to two and maybe play some more cards. Um, it's questionable right now, but I, I like the three being really high. Uh, two in and three Juniper. Juniper discard your hand, draw seven. Um, I think it's a fine amount. Three, four, five, six, seven. You got seven cards. You got VS Seeker. Like I said, you're going to struggle against Trevenant anyway. Uh, so why not just make your other matchups really good? Three Choice Spin is really nice. Like I said, now Zero Aura is taking a knockout for 190. Um, their Quasa can do additional 30 damage out of nowhere, which I think is good. I know um, the majority of us play like Fighting Fear Bells, but whatever. And of course, playing the standard 7 to 7. So, like I said, a lot of people are covering this deck. I still think it's really good. Um, there's a lot of different things you could do with this. I know Trainer Chip did like. Ho -Oh GX. I was trying to fit Naganadels in here, but um, there's no way I could fit Naganadels in here. I was trying to be like a Naganadel or a Quasa deck, but couldn't get it to work. Uh, so this is the best Rayquaza list I can think of. Um, I think it's still good. You're just like really fast. You're really consistent. You don't like you're not you're not setting up anything. So I think it really does have a good shot in expanded. Um, once again, if you uh, if you're playing. You can play across the eels too. But that's a setup deck. <laughs> oh, we already covered that once. Um, but the the problem with like across the eels is you gotta set up. But um uh, one thing you get to worry about is Wobbuffet. I think Groudon's gonna be a hard matchup. Um, uh, just to let you know. <laughs> so same routes. Okay, so five three seven. They're probably playing Trevenant, it looks like. Uh skull heads. Now, once again, we're not covering the big three. There's enough videos out there for Trevenant, there's enough videos out there for um whatever whatever like we, we don't care about those decks right i mean we do but we don't like to be honest i i don't care about them be real honest with you all right so press done let's see what we got so we start set of widow not good all right so playing against durant all right um i think this is a fine matchup um i think it is so compressor well <clears throat> discard um a grass a lightning and maybe just those two in a colors because we're gonna dump our hand this turn so we're going to miss Cheers treasure discard it in grab a rayquaza gx now this is a little problematic because of course we're going to be discarding our deck or it's here to discard us uh, let's see here wow <laughs> okay so we'll grab the lightning <coughs> we'll ultra ball one and two uh, for another Ray Quas, we could go Zara Aura, um, which is not bad either. So we'll grab Zara Aura, put down Zara Aura. Mm -hmm. We'll play down Juniper. Yeah, maybe we should have Ultra Ball first for the Latios. Uh, play the Juniper. Okay, so we will Grass Energy here, Max Elixir, Grass Energy here. And then right now, we're just going to pass it done. Uh, what we can do is Lightning Retreat, and we'll just start like, blowing up Durrance every single turn. And we should be able to win this, this game pretty easily, I think. Um, I, maybe I'm crazy, but I think we should have a good matchup. Like, it's going to be hard for him to discard multiple energies off of Rayquaza. Um, unless they play like, Articuno or something like that. Like, what if they play Articuno and they discard three energies? Uh, I think we'll still be fine. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that kind of thinks is that this is in the Lost Zone, right? Uh, so three Durrance coming down, okay. See Cynthia. We're gonna see it devour. Discard three. Um, and then we're gonna go full on like Rayquaza DX. Uh, there's a Mew coming down. Okay. Metal Junective. <coughs> devour for three. One, two, three. All right. So let's start the party. Nothing pretty significant there being discarded. But this here, we're going to retreat into here. And we're going to Dragon Break for three, six, nine. All righty. Oh, sorry. One twelve. <laughs> All right, so VS Seeker, which is good. We're gonna keep our our ends. So see another Mew. We see Mew coming up. So now it's just gonna be like we're just gonna keep swinging, and we should have this. I'm not really worried about Durant. They they have to knock out like a bunch of cards here. Kind of get you the Zero Aura up, okay? And we're gonna see a Devour. Um, it's gonna discard 
one grass energy. We do have scramble switch, which can help us out at any moment as well. Okay. Uh, so let's see Cynthia here. Gonna get six new cards. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna see three being discarded here. If we can parallel city him and like limit his bench down to three, that'd be really nice as well. So we see devour for three. All right. Hey, speaking of parallel city, what we top deck? Uh, VS Seeker. All righty. So I'm going to choice being this guy, so I'm going to draw back into it with Via Seeker for an N. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, so he has five cards. I'm going to go Colors here, um, so he doesn't draw into any cards. So yeah, we're going to Colors for five. Let's see here. Okay, we'll put down Rick, um, we'll Ultra Ball away one and two to grab a Mars Shadow. Put a choice band here, and we're in a Mars Shadow. Yep. Wow. Okay. Um. Put a grass here and pass. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. <clears throat> no lightning, unfortunately. We've only made two so far. Okay. So another Durant. Uh, what's good? Our pair him down to four. Ooh. So we actually might lose this game now. All of a sudden. I'm be real honest. Uh, trick shovel. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, metal energy there. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Devour for four. All right. Come on, top deck. Grass energy. Lightning. Okay. Stretcher. Uh, we'll stretcher. And two or three in our deck. Grab one, two, three. We'll ultra ball these two. We're probably gonna lose this. I'm not gonna lie to you. This get that we will let loose. Yep. All right, there's the lightning. Okay, so we can lightning here, retreat, knockout. But the problem with this is he's gonna not. Yeah, he's probably gonna get this. Unfortunately, I uh, go down to four. I draw the smack talk, Josh. Look at you. So he's gonna discard three. Okay, we go down to six. Okay. There's a metal G there. All right. There's a Juniper. Okay. Let's see what he's got. What you got? What you got, opponent? Trick shovel. All right. The Max Elixir. Okay. Devour for three. Oh, Love Ball for Mew. There you go. Hmm, you come down. Trainer's mail. Stretcher, okay. Alright, so devour for three. Or four. Or three. Four for four. It's in play, right? Oh, goodness. Uh oops. Yeah, he's got this. Like, we can um, maybe buy... Like, I don't want to attach anything, right? So, Dragon Break. Go down to three. Okay. Can he find another energy? And then he's got this. Yeah, he's probably got this. Uh, Mew, energy. Way to bring back a Durant. He's got it. Uh, we really need that the, 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 the Parallel City, right? So, Stretcher. Oh, he's got it. He can retreat to Durant. Discard four. He's got it. All right. So, that was great. Durant, Durant. That was a great game there. Good, good, good. Metal energy, devour for four. All right, cool, thanks. All right, so uh, what went on, wrong there? Well, we started Soda Wudo. I mean, Soda Wudo probably wasn't bad. We whiffed that lightning energy when we have plenty left in deck. That's what really hurt us there. All right, the only game. Well, do we need energy switch in this deck? I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Let's not play a uh, the Frosty Mage. Here we go. Looks like we're playing against a Archie. I don't think like I, I, all this week. I don't think we've seen like a typical like deck you're gonna see this weekend, right? Which is the thing about expanded is wide open. Uh, we I always keep bringing up the big three, right? But that doesn't mean you're gonna play those big threes all day. All right, press done. Okay. Let's see here. So mysterious treasury, this for a quasi GX. Please don't discard Meladios again. That was so bad luck. Yeah, that's fine. 
Every time! <laughs> okay. Uh, in. Okay. Alright, let's see here. We can... Mystery Treasure away this for Marshadow. Oh my goodness. This is going bad already. Yep. Alright. Okay, so this is a decent hand. We got Max Luxor attached this turn. Max Luxor, there we go. Attach. And then press done. Alright, so hopefully what we do next turn is like we top deck. I don't know. Uh, supporter card. So Water G, Shaman for four. Alright, so it is Arch Toys, right? So he's already attached for turn. And this is what I'm talking about. Hopefully this is enough to like kind of slow him down just a little bit. Um, so it's an order pad, okay. Heads, gonna put any item card in his hand, or any card in his hand, right? It's any, right? Yeah, any. All right, so let's see Arch Toys. Our first competitive deck, day three, you finally see a competitive deck. All right. Good, great, good, good, good. Mm, let's see here, what does the order pad get him? Um, I don't know, the Frosty Mage, why does that name sound familiar? Is it familiar, guys? Am I crazy? <clears throat> Every day you're gonna hear me talking about this coffee, and I'm still out of coffee. It's currently 1:20 p.m. So this card's not, uh, some stuff. Tapu Lele Wonder Tag. Do we see the Archies? Don't do it. Don't do it to me, Tapu Lele. Uh oh. Uh oh, kids. We're in trouble. Oh wait, no, we're not. So we can Mysterious Treasure away the Grass Energy to grab Tapu Lele forward in. That's what we're doing here. We'll put this here. Well, Lele, Wonder Tag, yes, grab an in. Okay. Uh, we also play more in cards than other decks do. Most of these only play one. So our at one extra just saved us there. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay. So we can um, use our Quasi GX. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there goes our scramble switch. Oh well. Lightning. Uh, we don't have a knockout. We only do 120, unfortunately. So dragon bait for 120. Have yet to find a. Well, we found one max looks there, right? Okay. <laughs> the problem is our Latios is right here again. Once again, it's right here, just chilling. We just got. We discarded our scramble switch. We can't use that next turn. This is going to be all up to our Rayquazas, essentially, right? All right. Let's see. So he's got seven cards in hand. Can he find that Archie's this turn? Uh, we know he topped with Layla for in hand. I don't know why he did. Um, he's like, oh, only two cards. We'll see what he does. I mean, like, if I had Via Seeker for in, like, why would you Layla for Archie's that turn? That seems like a really bad play. Like, you're just hoping I don't have anything. You can just lay lay the next turn for your Archies, and now you just have a lay lay just sitting there awkwardly. Okay. So that was turn two, 120, so that's not the best thing to be doing. Uh, there's an Ultra Ball. What does this guy do? Okay. Sure. Ultra Ball. Um. Let's see here. So, Ultra Ball. Let's see. So, the Shaman's really good for us. We can knock that up pretty easily. Tapu Lele's really good, but we're getting slowly there. So, this card's a Superior and a Shaman. Okay. It's not looking good for the Dream Team Archie stories right now. A Keldeal EX has appeared. Keldeal EX. Let's see here. What else has he got? So, Propagation. Okay. So, he has one Bench Bot. Ultra Ball, two. Computer Search. If he doesn't have this turn, this card's an Archie's, okay, for, I don't even know, an Ultra Bowl? Like, what do you get here? So he's got it this turn, right? There's no way he doesn't have it. So, yeah, there we go. And there's Archie's. Alrighty. So, can you take a knockout this turn? I'd be really sh shook if he did. I'm not going to lie to you. There's that, okay. He already discarded one superior. Did he find the other one in his hand? There's three water. Let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
Uh, so he needs this. Is, yeah. Oh my goodness, he's taking a knockout this turn. Only three. Okay. Does he got four in hand? Alrighty. Does he got a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17. He has to discard his whole hand, essentially. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40, 50, 60, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, he's got to discard the whole hand to get this. Does he have the whole hand here? Nope. One Articuno. Okay. Rush and retreat to Articuno. Nope. Just going to Seeker Sword. Try to take three prize cards next turn. Okay. So, own our turn. Hmm. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So we can grass energy here. <clears throat> we can compress her, discard stuff we don't need. Like, we don't need Sedawudo. Um, I kind of don't want Zara Aura. And then... I don't want... Well, Juniper could be useful to draw and stuff. I don't need Parallel City. So I'm going to discard these three. We're going to be a Seeker. For Colors. Did I discard Zara Aura? I did. I need the three. Oh my goodness, Josh! You need the free treat. You, you silly. Okay, so we can max luxury prey. Okay, that there. We can put down this top of the winds. Yep. All right, put that there. Uh, dragon break for knockout. Okay, so we got down to four, one and two. Find a VS Seeker and a Juniper. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We can knock out a Shaman next turn. We can knock out a Tapu Lele as well. Okay. Um, we find one Guzma. We play three Guzma. So remember that, guys. That's a key thing to note. All right, so Egg here. Okay. Like, we can knock out the Shaman next turn. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We can knock out the Tapu Lele, actually. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. And then we can knock out the Shaman the next turn, which is really cool. So I think this is what we're going to try to do here. He's gonna take three price cards this turn though. So via seeker um, for Archie. So he's on Archie's something. I don't know what he's on Archie's out there. We'll find out here in a second. What's he gonna get? So a uh, Kingdra e GX. What does this guy do? Okay. It's got a lot of HP. I'll give you that. But that's all that really matters to me. I don't care about anything else about that card. It seems it seems bad. Yeah, like Hydro Pump's Q, I guess, right? Uh so try it here, okay. So Z is appear again four waters, okay. Is that three or four? It's four, but he's only had three every single time, I guess, right? Yeah. So he's gonna start putting here on this guy. Uh, once again, the game plan is like to knock out the Tapu Lele with our Rayquaza, and then knock out this Tapu, this Shaman with our Rayquaza, like, and that's how we're gonna try to go for this. Like, I don't care about the Articuno. Articuno, it's good, right? But I don't care about it. So, try edge. Let's see. Heads, tails, and tails. So, yeah. Just one. That's all he needs. Because it's 40 plus 20. All right. Goes down to three. We'll send it for Quaza. Okay. On our turn. Let's see here. So, double VS Seeker in our hand right now. So, we're going to Ultra Ball. Discard an Ultra Ball and Juniper. Let's see. We'll grab the Quaza. We have one Guzma left. All right. So, grab our Quaza. We will put a Grass Energy here, Choice Band here, Via Seeker, for a Guzma. We'll Guzma this to send in this. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, Choice Band 180. So we'll Dragon Break for the Knockout. Okay, then 3, 6, 9, 12. So go down to 2. There is a Ultra Ball and a Max Looks. They're all righty. <clears throat> so here comes Kingdra. All right. If he has in, he's in a good position. If he doesn't have in, then he's in a bad position. Uh, right now, this is 5, 10, 50. It does 160, 180 now. Battle Compressor. Like I said, he really needs an in here. If he does not have in, we've got the game on lock for sure. Uh, once again, a lot of us aren't playing Choice Band. Um, we're showing why you do want to play Choice Band. And there's the end. All right, so we're going to get two. Okay. We got multiple. Maybe we should attach a Choice Band. Stretcher and Guzma. Okay. Um, hmm. I think we sent up the Lele and we see what we top deck. 
If we top deck an energy, we could we have game. Let's see here. Parallel City. Okay. Hmm. Well, looks like he's got it, guys. Um we don't have scramble switch, we can't do anything cute with that. Uh this guy's in 515. 16. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing we could do. He's got this just barely. Uh, so stretcher. Actually, what I'm going to do here is grab Rayquaza. Um, well, Rayquaza. Yes. Put a lightning energy on that guy. Guzma up. The Blastoise to send in this. Put down Parallel City. We're going to reduce our side. Okay. And then we're going to Tempest. Okay. Oh, a little misplay there. Um, we should have put a grass on this guy, and then we would have been a okay. Uh, there's a floodstone, okay. Well, that's a knockout. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> All right. Well, one game number two. All right. Oh, is that game? Oh, that's game two. Oh, we're over two right now. Jeez, Rayquaza. All right. Well. All right, let's see if we can turn one of the top and wins our uh, Latios again. Both times. Thank you, Pokemon. I hate myself, too. Maybe it's not as good as the thought was. Maybe this deck's not as good. Maybe it's not as good, guys. I don't know. I don't know. We'll try one more game with it. All right, let's see here. All right, MRM and one 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 Okay, so it's not an Arch Stories deck because there's no Psychic. All right. So we won the coin flip. Yep. Okay. Press done. So, yeah, we gotta start with this guy. Press done. All right, so we get a mulligan here. All right, so we have. It looks like we have a good start. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a Greninja deck. Okay. All right. Will we fall to Greninja again? Probably. Okay. Press done. Okay. So we can Ultra Ball, wait, one or two. Hmm. We can grab the Zara Aura, which will give us free retreat. And then we can try to find a Rayquaza. Um, yeah, we'll grab Zara Aura. We'll put down Zara Aura. Put a Lightning Max Elixir for nothing. Yeah, okay. So, we've got a Max Luxor again. Put a Lightning on that guy. And we'll press Done. Let's see. All right, so my opponent's turn. I wish we had a Juniper. It'd be really... I don't think... Maybe. It's weird, like, with his hand, because he always like, I want to discard a bunch of stuff, and it's not as good then. Um... What we could do this turn is we can, like, retreat, scramble switch, attack this turn, start taking a knockout, maybe. So, see, Flare Boat's doing 40. We're going to end those cards away in his hand. Uh, if you don't know Town Flame, you can start because if it's in your hand, you can start with it. Air Boat's does 40. You search for two cards, put them into your hand, okay? Hmm. All right, so we're gonna see two go down to. Oh, no, it's not. It's grabbing cards in his hand. Sorry, he's grabbing a frog of the air or something else. That's what he's grabbing right now. Okay, so there's a Guzma. So grass energy here. I want to attack this turn. So let's retreat to this. Let's scramble switch. Moving one and two. And then via seeker for an in. Okay, so we'll end here, get a new hand. 
Get rid of the two he got. Okay, so we can Mysterious Treasure Way of Grass. So I'm going to do this correctly. I'm going to Mysterious Treasure Way of Grass for, okay, well, it's price. So we're good here. We'll just grab this. Okay, grab the Requaza. Play down the Requaza. Use the ability. Get the, okay, there we go. We'll put a, um, a Lightning Energy. Do this again. Discard this. Grab another Requaza. All right, so this is the hands you want to see Requaza, which we haven't seen at all in the other games. Yep. Okay, we'll grab a, another Lightning. Maybe this deck needs Energy Recycler to give back those Grass Energies. I really want the Lightning set for Retreat, which is why I keep dropping those. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Look, we're doing 150 damage. This is what the deck's supposed to do. All right, so this is how it's supposed to set up. Um, unfortunately, we didn't see this at all at any of the games, unfortunately, but we're seeing it now. <laughs> so, see, okay, we're about to go crazy. We're about to patch a grass energy, keep blowing them up. Um, all right, so just pass on our turn. All right, so his hand is terrible, and we won! Yeah! All right, let's play one more. One more game, one more game. Let's go 2-2 two -two at least. Come on, Josh. Uh, will we get to Juniper? Probably not, but doesn't matter. Uh, if you watch my next video, you remember I was like, Kaylee hit the Juniper? Probably not. Unless you start grinding games for Juniper, which I don't think that matters for us. But that's okay. Alright, so let's see. I'm excited about tomorrow's deck. Um, it's a deck that I, I love. Um, I'm excited to play it, so that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. So, let's see what game number four is like. I'm not going to say what's game number four like. Okay, so Brave Ulysses, 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 okay, let's start the party, uh, heads like always, no, <laughs> okay, let's see here, okay, how do, how do we want to do this, okay, so, we'll start Rayquaza, Okay, we could go turn one Tempest, right? So pressed. Oh, we should probably do it on Zero Aura, just in case he does like in us or something. Okay, so there's a Mars Shadow. Malamar? Is that you, Malamar? You want expanded here? Okay, so Trainer's Mill. Let's see here. <clears throat> What's he got? What's he got for us, guys? Ooh, that's actually really good. How do we do a focus sash? We can't. We literally can't. We can't do a focus sash. Uh oh. We don't play any field blower in this deck. Uh oh. We're in trouble. Spaghettios. Mm -mm, Spaghettios. All right. <coughs> okay. Let's see what else we got. What's he got? So so far we know focus sash. That's it. Hmm. Yeah, no Faba, no Zorosic, no Fillblower, no Tool Scrapper, all these different cards we have. We don't play a single one in this deck, which could just destroy him. But I guess we're not going to destroy him right now. Um, I don't know what's taking him so long either. He's just he's just chilling. Um, living life right now. Just, you know, he's like, whatever, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, there you go, Cynthia. So, Acrobike. Discards the N. Order pad. What's he playing here? Okay. Hmm. So curious is what he's playing. I, I just want to know. I just want to know what's he like. So far, it's just Marsh Shadow, which can literally be any deck. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. Okay, yeah, we saw that coming. Okay, thank you, Brave. What else we got for us, bud? All right, let's see here. Night March. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he's got Shamus down, which is good for us. What's not so good is he's playing Night March. 
<laughs> as soon as I saw them, I'm like, it's Night March. <laughs> All right, so Shaman come down. Okay, so we can knock out the Shaman pretty easily. That's two prize cards. Think of the Marsh Shadows. We don't have a way to bump this, so that's unfortunate. Uh, there's a Mew, okay. All right, it's going to be a hard matchup for us. I'm going to be real honest, real honest about this. All righty, so... We just gotta hope he mentions a bunch of shamans. So super scoop up, picks the shaman up. Don't put it, put it back down. Put it down there, buddy. Put it back down. Please don't keep it in your hand. He's done two super scoop ups. Okay. Hmm. What is happening today? Um. Now, okay. So let's compare this to the, the big three, right? The big three: Trevenant, Zork, and um, Archies, right? So this deck. Lose the Archies now because they play Articuno. They can take two prize cards off of your, like, Pokemon now. Okay. There's a Guzma. Guzma. Grass Energy, Zero Aura, Marshadow. We could Guzma Marshadow and hope his Shaman stay, but then I'm scared he'll, um, he will, um, <clears throat> Like DCE Sky Return or something, then we don't have the, the Marsh out anymore. Okay. Huh. So we're Closet GX. <laughs> sure. Okay, well, those are three good cards to discard. I'm not I'm not complaining about those three. Alright, Tempest. Oh, okay. We got Max Luxor, Max Luxor, Grass Energy. Uh, the only thing we don't have a way to get energy on the active. <sighs> hmm. So Trainer's Mill? Okay. Unless we go Guzma, knock out Shaman next turn. Okay. Trainer's Mill, fail. <coughs> Computer Search. Great top deck there, bud. So 24 to 60. Okay. How do we deal with the Marsh Shadow? I need to do something to that Marsh Shadow. This is going to end up losing us the game. I promise you that. 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Night March for 80, okay. Do we try to two shot this guy right now while we can? Uh, Max Luxor? Lightning to this guy. We have the grass in hand, so yeah, that's the better play. Do this. Nothing. Do this here. Okay. Uh, attach a choice span. I'm trying to think I want to do this. We have energies and then discard on us. Ultra Ball, discard the Tapu Lele instead of Wudo. Grab another Rayquaza. I wish Dreamy Mist did. Oh, it does do damage. So we're at Dreamy Mist, actually. Okay. Okay, we put down Dreamy Mist. Put a Choice Span. Um, we can parallel ourselves sitting down to three, so we can discard my shadow. Right now, I'm a course for six. Okay, so I kind of just want to pass. And see what happens. We could mysterious show away the juniper. Grab another Mars Shadow. So let's do that. Let's do this. Grab the other Mars Shadow. Put a choice band here. Mars Shadow again. Yep. So we'll put him down to four, but we get four as well. We got VS Seeker. Okay. Okay, so I was hoping, obviously, for um the scramble. Like scramble to Latios, Dreamy Mist. Do a damage, get energy in both their quasas, and then that way we're looking good. Um, didn't work out that way, unfortunately. Okay, so we put him down to four again. He's still only doing eighty. He needs to put one more of the loss zone. Okay. Hmm. We'll see here, guys. We'll see what we got. Uh, he needs one compressor, which he hasn't played a single compressor so far, which is very surprising. Uh, we have yet to play a, a VS Seeker, which is really nice. So Night March, just for another 80 damage. Okay. So we go Grass Energy. Um, 
We could go... No, we don't need to go Guzma. We need to find a way to get this guy in the active spot. Oh, I need to do damage to this guy. Yeah, so we're in here. Okay. Give me the scramble. Dear Lord. Compressor. It's in the deck. Uh, okay. All right. So what do you want to discard here? We don't need any more of these, so we discard those. That's it. I'm going to discard those. Let him take the first knockout. We'll max Elixir. Great. Press done. It's just not been a good game for me. We could have, uh, well, the max Elixir missed anyway, so that doesn't matter. Okay. So trainer's mill. Okay. So there's a compressor. Hey, found your first compressor. Man. Okay. So what can we do here? Well, like I've been saying, we can <clears throat> send in the Latios next turn. Use Dreamy Mist. We can Mystery Treasure for another guy. We can attach a Grass Energy. There he discards a bunch of Night Marchers. Okay. He's got four, five, six, seven. Okay. And we're going to try to end him. Force him to knock out this guy. It goes down the... Th we, we punch him. Yeah, that's all we're going to do here. We're just going to try to force some awkward situations. We could via Secret Guzman knock out the Joltik this turn. No, we need to deal with Marshadow, Josh. Stop thinking about other Pokemon. You need to deal with Marshadow. If you can't knock out Marshadow, <laughs> what are you going to do here? All right, so, yeah, we need we have to knock out Marshadow. That is the game plan. We need to get rid of this Focus Ash. Okay. Okay. Super scoop up, okay. Another Mew, okay. Trainer's Mill. So he's discarded. He's got two DCEs in fill. If we had like a fob or an enhanced hammer, we could get rid of one of these. It's always risky when you're playing Night March and you put multiple like DCEs on the field. I'll be real honest with you. So he's gonna take a knockout. We're gonna punch him, not take a knockout, then he's gonna take another knockout, go down to three. If he goes Guzman knockout and goes down to two, we pretty much lose from there. Um, I think we're in trouble regardless. Let me be honest. Let me be honest. We're in trouble. Uh, if we played Fighting Fear Belt, we could knock out the Mew at any point. Oh, uh, no, it only does 30, so that wouldn't work either. Muscle Man. But once again, we don't have any way to deal with this Focus Ash. That is the problem. Also, we've had, like, bad luck. Like, it's, like, turn four, and we have four energies in the field. Okay, so it goes down to four. We'll send up this guy. Don't send up anybody else, Josh. You almost, you almost made a misplay, Josh. Okay. Well, Mysterious Treasure away this. Grab this. All right. Put down Rayquaza. No. Actually, we're not. Put this here. Uh, okay, so let's think about this. I haven't played a single VS Seeker. So I'm a VS Seeker for N. Trying to lower his hand size. Okay. So we're going to end here. All right. Scramble switch. I hate you so much. All right. So we're going to Parallel City. Our side down to three. Discarding Marshadow and Marshadow. And then we're going to Dreamy Mist, not for the knockout, but for a significant amount of damage, getting two Grass Energies. We're going to have a Grass and a Lightning. Um, the Grass Energy is going to go here, and the Lightning Energy is going to go there. All right, so in our opponent's turn, okay. So now the game plan next turn is to Guzma up the Marshadow, take a knockout. He can take a knockout here, go down to three. He takes a knockout, go down to one. Oh my goodness, I think we lose regardless. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know how we deal with this. So there's another Marshadow. Please touch another thingy there. Touch another Focus Ash, that guy. And I cry. If he touches a second Focus Ash, there's no way we can deal with this. I'm going to be real honest. Okay, these, okay, so that's game. Um, It might not seem like game, but what's going to happen is we take a knockout with this guy, right? So he takes a knockout here, go down to three. We take a knockout here. He goes down to... We go down to to four 
He then takes the knockout gun on one, and then we can take a knockout shaman, go down to two, then he takes the knockout gun on one. So there's no way we win unless uh, he has his Guzma and DCE prize. Like, uh, he has not put a Guzma. Like, my only out is to bring this guy up and hope he prized his DCE and Guzma. That is what we're going to go for here. That is what we're going to do. We're going to bring Marsh Shadow. Sit up Zero Or. We're just going to hope and pray because if not, we're going to lose regardless. Let's just, uh, let's just, uh, let's just press done and see what happens. And then he prizes Guzmo and DCE. Oh, there's DCE there. Okay. Well, it's been nice knowing you guys. <clears throat> and he can Gladion if he prizes his, his Guzma. Great. Well, well, that's game. All right, well, we're done. All right, let's go back to the drawing board. Um, not, we, like, the best deck we played so far this week is Sides with Garbodor. Uh, once again, Sides with Garbodor shuts down this deck. It shuts down the Greninjas. Um, even though we played against Greninja, we didn't. Uh, and he cashed another Fury Belt. Great, we would have lost regardless. Well, let's just press done. He can have his victory. I'm done. We're done playing this. I don't know. I don't know what's happening today, this week, guys. Maybe it's just is not my thing. Um, but we're going to see him win. It has not been good this week on uh, TFK land. I don't know what he's doing here. Let him, let him have his fun. Let him play his Night March deck. His, his like, his very slow Night March deck. I don't know if, if it's, it's not that slow. He's just not clicking very fast. Alrighty, well, there. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm done. Alright, we're done. Concede. So, there we go. There's Rayquaza. Um, yeah, this week's gone great so far. Pretty terrible, if I say so myself. Um, but tomorrow's one more day. We're done, and then we're done with the expanded for a while because I'm not playing expanded again except for expanded Thursdays. Uh, so this requires expanded. Like I said, there's there's a couple different ways you can do this. Like I said, trainer trip did it with Ho Oh. I know you can probably play with Naganadale. You can probably play it with I don't know with Eels. Requires is a very um different deck. You can play it different different ways. You can still play Beacon Bolt one two as well. Um, but there's Speed Requires and it did terrible today. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't play this deck either. Uh, we'll see you Friday how that goes. So far, the best, like, the best three. Definitely seem like they're the best three for the reason. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.